excuse for you. Let me introduce you if you don't recognize them already. Tom Stieber, uh, Gina Bishop from Big City Chefs are here, and they're going to they're gonna show us how to throw a dinner party, right? But first, yes, let's sir. take a look from their show on the Food Network. Big City Chefs, this is Samantha. My name is Tom Stieber. I'm the CEO of Big City Chefs. We do specialize in personal chef services. Anytime you need a high-end chef for an exclusive party, that's when you call Big City Chefs. Dinner is served. Oh, this looks beautiful. Get those on ice. Oh, my God. I don't know who's crazier, the clients or the chefs. Oh! It's a recipe for excitement and disaster all at the same time. <laughs> this is a crazy week, and it all happens in Beverly Hills. Well, the show is called Private Chefs of Beverly Hills. So, Gina, I mean, what is the story? When it, what is it like to be a private chef? Are people just insane? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good description there. Yeah, it's, it's always new. You never know what to expect. You're always in a different kitchen. It's, you know, it's never, it's never dull. Now, I hear that celebrities and, you know, really eccentric people have eccentric wants and needs. What is yeah. the most interesting thing that you've, that you've chefed up for someone? Not only on the show, but also, which is about uh -oh. to go into its second or isn't it second season well I've, I've had a client that actually wanted me to come cook for them and didn't want anything touching nothing touching nothing like touching on the plate on the while plate you were everything cooking? had to be on a different plate it, Okay, right. Who was that? Can you tell? Um, no, I'm going to keep it a little oh, secret. Oh, shoot. What are you, <laughs> sealed. What are you, is that part of the deal, Tom, when you're a private chef like that? You have to keep your lips sealed? Absolutely. Uh, confidentiality is important. You know, these are high-profile clients, so they expect that, you know, mum's the word and lips are sealed. Right on. Do you have to sign confidentiality agreements for that? Uh, not usually. You know, they, you work through their assistants if they're very high-profile. Otherwise, you know. And whatever. you just have integrity, and that's how that Absolutely. goes Absolutely, and they have right to trust on. us, so. Now we're talking. Now, these guys are both... Like, if you're just curious and you want to throw a dinner party, they actually both are here available in San Diego as well as in Los Angeles. But let's let's talk about how to throw a themed dinner party. Exactly. Where, how do you decide what to do and then where do you start? Well, a lot of our clients love doing a theme, whether you know it's a night in Morocco or the chef is going to teach them how to make sushi. Um, so, That's for example, awesome. you know today we're going to be making a Rat Pack dinner party. And when you do a theme, you just got to go, you know, all the way into it and get really, you know. Just uh, own it. Exactly. Yeah. Own it. So you got, all okay. The details. All okay. The so Tom, if you don't mind, get, if you could get started cooking some stuff, and Gina, exactly. you could just do the play-by-play -play on on what Tom's doing. What is he doing here? Okay. Um, do you know? He. <laughs> I mean, are y'all doing separate things? I didn't. I don't know. You could have been just. Do, <laughs> we're gonna different, do different things here. I've got a um, a gin and tonic. Um, martini type salad mm -hmm. um, and it has a gin and tonic dressing which is really fun so here um, I have our mixed greens I have shaved fennel I also have a little bit of lemon zest which just has such you know wonderful flavor and we're trying to keep it really light now why this for the rat pack because we are you know martinis, the martinis. The martinis. you know everybody yeah. loves their martinis so okay. I, I used um, that kind of inspired me a little bit to use the gin in a vinaigrette okay Okay, while you're doing that, so Tom, I'm getting it that yes. the whole theme party is like, do your research and know what the what the theme is, and then just kind of go from there. What do you make? Actually, I'm about to make a zabayon, which is really simple. It's uh, it's fantastic in the summertime because, first of all, it's Italian. It goes with a Rat Pack theme. Okay. And also, uh, you can pour just over fresh berries. It's just egg yolks, sugar, and some marsala wine. And you cook it up over a low heat till it's nice and creamy, and then you drizzle that over fresh summer berries, and you've got a quick, easy dessert that's fantastic. Okay, what are your thoughts on eating dessert before dinner? Uh, I'm serious. That was it's very important. I always need a piece of chocolate while I'm cooking, so I'm ready. There's something to yeah, that. Don't I think, you think? I think a little sweet. Yeah. I think dessert is the most important meal of the day. Thank so. you. <laughs> Thank you. You and I are new best friends. Absolutely. Now, can we look at the table and how you address yes. the table? What how, What did you decide to do here? Uh, one of the things we wanted to do was go with sort of classic 1940s, 50s color scheme. So a lot of silver, black, white. Um, we also wanted to, so we want to keep it classy, kind of a Vegas feel. We also like the idea of doing little um, place cards for people. We happen to do them with uh, the Rat Pack guys themselves. We've got pictures of Sinatra and Sammy Davis. But if you had your guests coming, maybe do a little black and white photo of them. And that way they know where they're going to sit. But it gives that whole retro feel and sets the tone right off the bat. That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay, so how many people, for example, if, you, if, you, if you're going to do a Rat Pack dinner, how many people do you think that would be, like 6, 8, 10, something like that? 6 and up, I'd say. Because, I mean, it takes a good 6 people to have a really crazy party, right? So. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> At my house last night, it only took about four or five of us. Okay, I'm so. your house then, right? <laughs>
Do you know, um, for the romantic, we gotta, we gotta wrap it up and send it on in, sure. but just a quick um, suggestion. For a romantic dinner for two, what would your theme, what's your number one option for a theme, do you think? Oh, let's see. Well, it's always the We're client. I go straight to the client, and I would like to get a lot of their ideas, because they, you know, if you're doing a romantic dinner, they either want to reflect a memory that they've had prior, when they first met, oh, so you know. The research. Yeah, so, so the due I really, diligence. yeah, well, you know, if that's what a private chef is all about. We want to make it, you know, really, you know, you know, give okay. the customer what they want. Well, thank you guys for being here. For more information thank on you. these guys and the show, you can go to foxnoxsandiego.com and click on the Scene On link. Guys, I'm going to send it back to you now in the studio. And please thank them for making it smell fantastic out here on the set. Okay, 7.57. It's finally feeling a little bit like summer here in San